Welcome back everybody to Nicky Bernalentos Space Engineers First of all I have to say thank you for all the new subscribers They are new on my channel and also the old one I'm now near 400 subscribers and that's really much I mean this, this is uh, this are 400 people are watching my content Or sometimes or watching the videos and enjoying them um, Which really means much for me And yes and also the critics in the comments, they're uh, helping me also so I can progress for the future. I'm getting better maybe with the language. Uh, this is the other point. Some people are complaining about that I'm repeatedly saying the same words as and or other things. Um, that's why, because if you don't know it, in, uh, English is not my main language. My main language is German and it's sometimes for me difficult to find the right words. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to, not, not the hard to explain, but I'm only speaking English in my videos. So in my private, private life, I'm not speaking English. Sometimes I write in English, some comments or so, um, but that's it. And yes, I'm watching movies in English or other YouTubers. That also helps me, but sometimes again, I have not the right words. And this is why, because, and this is why I'm just... Um, ordered me a book uh, to read. Um, it's just a, it's a story book, uh, a, re a book that I already have written in German, but now I have ordered it in English. So maybe then my, uh, then I can pronounce myself with, with other words. And also my videos are not scripted. I'm not writing every sentence and then I'm gonna speak them so I'm just gonna speak freely into the microphone and that's sometimes I have just I'm just sometimes speaking um, really stupid things that I didn't notice myself but you uh, also noticed it um, yeah it's it's sometimes really hard for me to, to again to find the right words I'm repeating them myself and yes and I hope my English is getting better in the future we will see that I can only progress with time. I'm now also speaking more fluid than at the beginning of my videos some months ago. Uh, I need just to progress in time and maybe I'm getting better in it. Um, yes, I think that's it. And now let's go to the ship. I, I have not a new ship for it, it's a station today. It's called Citadel Outpost and it's created by a Tivius V and why not? Yes, why not is also a name. Um, so, where it is? Here is the outpost. So, I'm just gonna fly around the outpost. Later on, I'm gonna show you the inside. So, uh, let's see what is all about that station. Maybe I'm gonna turn my lights on, but I don't think that will help me uh, that much. So, it's not that of a big station, but it looks great. So, up there we have a little, a little bit of a bridge. So now, flying here. And I'm just gonna turn my light on, uh, off. And my jetpack off. And I'm gonna go in. So, here in that station it looks interesting you don't need to fly up there you can easy walk just on the walkway you will see what i mean in a second and here you have a little control panel so you can put um a alarm on or off and also you can put the lights off or on or all the lights off and again on anyway so, if you can see, if I'm gonna go here, the gravity change and I can walk up the walls or whatever you wanna call it. Here we have a little bit of a window so we can see outside and back there is the moon. Also, we have here some servers. Up here we have the medical bay and also here a pot and I'm gonna continue on. Here we have just some seats so we can look outside into the space and enjoy the view to the planet here and here the moon. Up here we can also go outside and yes, I think up here is 
the bridge, yes. So we can also fly that station and I will lay down I will crash that station. And yes, that's that's it. Also, something else? No, I don't think so. I'm just gonna go all the way back down here. And also here are some control panels. Anyway, I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm near the planet with that space station. So now I'm near the atmosphere of the planet. In any moment we will hit it and I hope we see some damage. As you can see now there is a massive lag spike and I'm also just flying the ship now like 10 minutes to the planet because I have every time that lag spikes that you can see now. No idea why I just started the game over. Uh, created a whole new world but still I have that massive lag and I can see on my other screen on the left side that my CPU isn't that high and also not the memory of the, my computer and I have no idea why the game is just completely freezing and then just go off again so I don't know and I can't really do a thing about it I just need to wait until it's there Finally, it's moving again. Don't know. I hope it's now gonna go to the planet, but we will see that. And I hope there's no more freeze. The heat should rise now. The heat is rising and just gonna go out of that so we can see maybe a damage. We can reach now the planet, please. And yes, let's see what the damage will be in the impact of that station. We are losing some parts. Well, now we hit the ground and we're losing more and more parts after a while as you can see I'm just flying it from the back there and or something else I don't know yeah Ooh, what 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 was that what in the hell was that I can't fly let me please fly out of here what was that was a massive explosion there I never had expected that what was that what are explosive charges in there what was that? Have you uh, an idea what that was? Here in the back they are just falling other parts down from the sky. But what in the hell was that? That was so unexpected that the thing just explodes and now there is no more lag. Because the ship is... maybe that thing in the ship was the lag. I don't know. So let's see what the wreckage what is left of that um, space station. So there's some parts and here we are there. Uh, one solar panel left and here are just the other parts but the main thing just exploded as you has, uh, has seen it. So anyway, here's also the main impact. So, or was that another impact? I don't know, but I think here was the explosion. So, I'm gonna see you in a moment on my mountain base where I'm just gonna throw that ship down the mountain. So, now I'm on my mountain base, I'm just gonna fly there. As you can see, I just finished a little bit more of the things here on the back, the glass panels. And it's still not finally finished, but I also painted it in white because of the snow. It's not the same color as you can see now. Um, anyway. Now let's spawn in the ship, or better to say the station. So here it is, I'm just gonna fly like so a little bit higher. And then I just let it fall. And I hope we see some damage, maybe, maybe there is an explosion or so, I don't know. So the impact will be in a second. Ooh. Downside is completely gone. Ooh, this is bad. This is really bad for the station. And I mean, a station isn't a space station is not made for that. Ooh, that looks bad for the station. And it's now really sl uh, speeding up. Oh, this was also. Now there's just one little thing left of the whole station. Wow. Looks great so far. The other things are just broken off in little pieces and flying down there. 
and this is just breaking also off into just little pieces and flying all the way down. We are just on the beginning on the mountain and it's even now completely destroyed. And as you can see there's just a little bit of a lag there but nothing really to worry about. And yes, I'm gonna fly that little part in, uh, behind the little part and now there's nothing really gone, uh, nothing really left. Everything is gone. There's just one thing flying around. So I think I will end my video here. So if you want to download that station for yourself, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment, that will help me. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye.